What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the fact that we're finally going to be getting news about the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor DLC. So this was announced just a couple hours ago, Cerebi put up a tweet saying that Isle of Armor DLC is officially going to be revealed tomorrow on June 2nd, and I mean today is June 1st, so we know that the Isle of Armor DLC is going to be coming out around sometime this month, we know that it was planned for summer 2020, and the estimated date that they gave us on the eShop was by June 30th, which is obviously just a placeholder date saying that it's going to be sometime this month, so we knew that as soon as this month began, we were probably going to expect to see some Pokemon news come at some point. And it's definitely good to see that there is still going to be another trailer for the Isle of Armor DLC because that definitely means that there probably is still some stuff that they're hiding from us that they still have left to show because if there really wasn't anything else left for them to show then that would mean pretty much what they've already given us in terms of information is really all we can expect from this DLC and to be honest that doesn't seem all that exciting to me from what they've already shown us so that's why I'm really hoping that whatever news we get tomorrow can actually show something really exciting and get people even more interested in purchasing this DLC. And so in this video, we're going to be doing a quick overview of all the information that they've already given us about the Isle of Armor DLC and what we can already expect, and then we'll go through and give some predictions for what we think could possibly be shown tomorrow in the brand new trailer. Alright, so here we are on the official Pokemon Sword and Shield website, and you guys can see right here that this gives us all the information really that they've already talked about as for new features to expect in the Sword and Shield DLC. And so I clicked on the new features tab right here, and it says new features to spice up your adventure, new features added in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. So of course the first thing here is that there is going to be some new clothing items. You can see here one's based on Chairman Rose, one's based on Leon, one's based on Marnie. So you can definitely see that there is going to be some new customizing options which does seem pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty sure some of those are going to be from the Isle of Armor and then some of the other ones will probably be in the Crown Tundra. It also says here there's going to be max raid battles against new Pokemon. So we obviously know that there are going to be new Pokemon that weren't in the original Pokemon Sword and Shield that are going to be coming with this DLC. So it makes sense that there's going to be some new max raid battles and that also makes sense with the new Pokedexes because there's going to be new Pokemon for you to be able to go out and catch. It also says here there's going to be some new Pokemon League cards, so you're actually going to have new customizing options, new backgrounds, and new frames, new effects and stuff, so that's pretty cool if you definitely got into like that whole Pokemon card customizing thing where if you really like to customize your card and have different poses and stuff, there's definitely going to be some new stuff to do in there. And then there's also some new features that are specifically going to be in the Isle of Armor. So this is stuff that they've already talked about. It says here items that will help you on your adventure. It says there's going to be something called an EXP charm that will come in handy when leveling up your Pokemon. So we don't know exactly how this works or what it's going to be about. And that's why maybe this is something that they could talk about in the new trailer tomorrow. We don't know exactly what this EXP charm is. Is it like an item that you give to your Pokemon and they get even more experience? Is it just like candy that already gives experience like the EXP candy that we already have? Or maybe does a double EXP that you get or something like that. We don't really know exactly how it works, but it does seem kind of interesting because it could be very helpful. Then it also says here that there's going to be some new tutor moves. So it says here new moves that have never been available in past Pokemon series games will appear in this expansion. Now if you guys don't know about these moves, I actually made a video going into detail about every single brand new move that's going to be inside of this expansion pass because they actually ended up getting leaked from a new Pokemon Home update. So I have a whole video going into detail about all of those moves and if you guys haven't seen that video, there should be a little eye up in the corner right now. You can go ahead and click on that video and go and check it out, but I'll also put it in the outro of this video as well. That really goes into detail about all of those moves if you guys are interested. It's definitely pretty interesting if you like competitive battling and stuff like that. It also says here there's going to be a new way to battle called Restricted Sparring. The Isle of Armor will also introduce a way to challenge yourself to some new battles. With Restricted Sparring, you'll be limited in what types of Pokemon you can use and then be forced to battle under set conditions. Give it a try and give some of your Pokemon that are normally overlooked a chance to shine. Um, it also says here new features added in the Crown Tundra, so that's going to be stuff that's going to come later in November with that DLC pass. And so here's like a simple chart that basically shows you all the stuff that comes with the Isle of Armor. So we know there is going to be new areas to explore. They've actually given us an image of what the map looks like for the Isle of Armor as well. So it does look kind of decently sized. I really do hope that there is going to be some good places to explore and stuff. Like, I really hope it isn't so streamlined that everything is kind of really easy to find. I really do hope that there are some like hidden paths, maybe like places where they hit some items and TMs or something like that like that would be really helpful and it would be kind of fun to just explore on that new island 
Of course, you're going to be getting the legendary Pokemon Kubfu and Urshifu inside of the Isle of Armor. There's going to be uh, Gigantamax forms for all your starter Pokemon, so that's going to be really awesome. There's also going to be new regional forms, and we've already seen that with the Slowpoke, but maybe tomorrow in the trailer, they're going to show us some new Galarian forms as well. Pokemon that didn't appear already in the original Pokemon Sword and Shield, so we know about that as well. There's going to be Pokemon like Kingdra and Volcarona that didn't already appear in the games. So that goes in with the new Pokedexes here, new clothing items like I mentioned, new Pokemon for max raid battles, new items, new tutor moves, and finally the new restricted sparring battle feature. So it definitely does seem like that the Isle of Armor is going to have some pretty decent content, but to me, in my opinion, it definitely does look like that the Isle of Armor isn't going to have as much significant content compared to the Crown Tundra, because the Crown Tundra is definitely going to have like all of those max raid battles with legendary pokemon it's gonna have like all of those new galarian forms of articuno moltres and zapdos it has those new reggies so that definitely seems way more exciting to me than what we have with the isle of armor but hopefully maybe tomorrow with the new trailer we can actually get some new footage and some new interesting stuff now, if you guys didn't know, there was actually some brand new information given about the Isle of Armor in the Nintendo Direct Mini that we had a few months ago. And this Nintendo Direct Mini really talked about what you're going to be able to do on the Isle of Armor, where it says here you're going to pick one of two towers to take your new Pokemon Cub Fu. And so obviously Cub Fu is the legendary Pokemon that you get after you get on the Isle of Armor, but then you're going to pick one of two towers depending on which form of Cub Fu that you want when it evolves. So you obviously know that there's going to be like that dark type one, which is kind of red, and then you've got the water type one, which is going to be blue. So you can pick which type of Urshifu you want your Cub Fu to evolve into, and depending on which one you want, that's the tower that you're going to pick. And then really what it talked about inside of that direct mini was that you're going to go through that entire tower with only Cub Fu, and you're going to try to battle your way up to the top, and then once you get to the very top and defeat everyone, that is when you're your Kabu is going to evolve into Urshifu and depending on which tower you picked it's either going to be the single strike form or it's going to be the rapid strike form. And so that's really all the information that we have so far about the Isle of Armor DLC, which is why I'm really hoping that tomorrow they can go into more detail inside of that video where they talk really about what you're going to be able to do on the Isle of Armor, how it's going to work, what all of the new main content is going to be like, instead of just giving us some new Pokemon and new forms and stuff like that. So hopefully they can really do that because I really want to get a new idea of what this entire expansion pass for the Isle of Armor DLC is going to be like and what it has in store. And so for my predictions, I really have just more gameplay of what we can actually expect to do on the Isle of Armor, maybe some information about what some of those new items do, maybe a new Galarian form, some new Pokemon, and maybe some new information about the new characters Clara and Avery as well. Now I tweeted about this on my Twitter as well, so let's take a look at my Twitter and see if we got any responses. I asked you guys how you feel about the Isle of Armor DLC and what we could possibly expect tomorrow. And so here is the tweet, I said predictions time, what do you think that the Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor DLC news tomorrow could show? Any hopes that you have? When do you expect it to release? Reply to this tweet with your thoughts and you could be featured in today's video. So Switch here is saying it'll be 1-2 to two hours long and it'll come out in mid-June in my opinion. Now honestly, if it turns out to be only 1-2 to two hours of content, I would be pretty disappointed. They are charging $30 for this DLC expansion, and $30 is the cost of half of the game, so I really do expect there to be at least 5 hours or so of content in each DLC pack. I think if each of them is 5 hours, then together that equals 10 hours, which is around half the time that you got from playing all of Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I think around 5 hours in each DLC would be pretty good. But if it only turns out to be 1-2 to two hours of content that you can finish in 1 or 2 hours, then I will be pretty disappointed. Uh, Dr. Calamari here is saying new Pokemon in forums, they already confirmed this. A little bit of more gameplay of the towers, the date, what other things that you can do on the Isle besides the main story, wild battles, I hope that any of these will be shown. So yeah, I think that definitely the date is something that we still really need to know. We know now that this DLC is going to be coming out this month, and we still don't have a concrete day, which is kind of weird. So I really do think that we'll probably get the release date for sure. Um, if you guys want my prediction, I think it's probably going to be around mid-June. I think like June 12th was the day that I heard. So somewhere around there, June 12th, June 15th, June 16th somewhere probably around there and yeah i think that some new information about the gameplay on the towers would be kind of nice as well we know that we do have to make our way up the tower but we don't really know what it's going to be like are the towers going to be more explorative like are you actually going to have different floors and find like items and stuff or is it just going to be kind of a more linear tower that everybody takes the same path so hopefully they can kind of go into more detail about those Micro here is saying we'll get some information on stuff that they talked about in January, like the EXP charm, new moves, and apricorns. So that's definitely true as well. We know that some of those things are going to be returning, but we don't really have a bunch of information on them. So hopefully we do get that. 
Chris here is saying a release date, if not after the video, a few new Galarian forms and more Cub Fu footage. So I definitely do think that we're probably going to see some more stuff about Cub Fu, maybe a new Galarian form here and there, and definitely a release date as well. Now you did say if not after the video, I know that some people were saying that tomorrow like they're going to have a trailer and then Shadow drop the Isle of Armor DLC after. I would be very surprised if they did do that, like after that trailer comes out they say the Isle of Armor is available now. I mean, it might happen, but I really don't see it happening. I still think it's probably going to be somewhere in mid-June in a few weeks or so, but it would be really awesome if tomorrow, right after that trailer, they're like, yeah, you can play this new DLC expansion right now. That would be really awesome. I mean, I would definitely stream it. It would be pretty fun, but I don't think it's going to happen. And finally, Dreamscape here is saying new Galarian forms for old Pokemon and some new Gigantamax forms too. I definitely think that that's pretty possible as well. We already know that the Gigantamax forms for our starters are going to be there, but maybe we'll see some new Gigantamax forms for other Pokemon and some new Galarian forms for older Pokemon as well. And so that's going to do it for all the Twitter responses, you guys. I'm sorry I couldn't read all of them. I don't want to make this video too long, but that's going to do it for all of them. Thank you guys so much for responding. And remember, if you ever want to be featured in videos like this, then just go and follow me on Twitter at Actual Arrow. And so there you go guys, that's all the information that we have right now about the Isle of Armor DLC. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of all this, what do you guys think could be shown off in the Isle of Armor DLC tomorrow, what are some of your hopes, when do you think that it could be coming out, definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe, I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to be a part of the notification squad, go follow me on Twitter at actual so you can be featured in videos and also join my discord server as well we've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about pokemon and smash bros and nintendo so definitely be sure to join that and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching